Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to another overview video. Today, I've got the new Ultra Olympus 3.0. These shoes over the last couple weeks, I've been able to put in about 50 miles and I feel like I'm ready to kind of give you some information that you might be interested in about this new update. So first, before I say anything else, we're gonna jump back in time and I'm gonna show you a little unboxing and kind of first impressions about the shoes. So here we go. Hey, this is a day that I've been waiting for for a long time. I finally got right here. The Olympus 3.0. Okay, so that was kind of dramatic. Let's open this thing. Ugh. Freaking run its arms. Ugh. Dang. Okay. Here's the box. Foot shape. Huh. Here they are. Look at that. Oh my gosh. They feel a little bit lighter. So this is one thing that is different. The sole is wider in the back. Let me see. Okay, so this is the old one right here. See that width. And this is the new one. It is a little bit wider in the back. Bottom. Very similar. This part in here is still that kind of squishy rubber, same as the old ones. Uh, they did away with the red on the soles. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I liked having the red like footprint shape. You can tell, like right here, this one, it's just a, this one, it's just a little bit wider. The 2.5s really didn't have any drain holes. The 3.0, it's got this little cutout right here and there's another one on the other side. And those are new drain holes so that when your shoe fills with water, it will drain out. Tongue feels exactly the same. I talked about this tongue in my other Olympus video. There's like this little rubber uh, top to it. You can really yank down on your laces and get your shoes really tight. The actual sole is very different. So I'm gonna be really, really interested to see how these feel out on the trail. It's really squishy. Like, I don't know if you can, can't really, can't really tell in the video probably, but it's like really, really squishy. I'm really interested to see what it's gonna feel like with this wider heel. That's the biggest difference in my opinion. So this groove that goes all the way down, it made it quite a bit wider in the 3.0. And that's what's giving you that extra width. Still has the Vibram sole, which is great. There's no reason to go away from that. So that's where I'm gonna stop this part of the video. And with the magic of video editing, you're gonna see the next part in just a second. Okay, so now we're back in present time after I've ran about 50 miles in these shoes and I'd like to give you my thoughts. First of all, these shoes were designed to go long and hard on the trail. They're super cushiony. The Vibram outsole is super sticky. All rocks and roots and dirt and everything. These shoes were designed for long days. Think if you're going out for, you know, 20 miles or more. Like that's what these shoes are designed for. They do deliver. The claw system that they've designed right in here where these lugs are positioned like over your forefoot and then also throughout here on your heel. Really good grip out there. Never had any problems with grip and you can see that their position just kind of like claws so that they just like claw through the dirt and the top is like a new designed mesh very lightweight very different than the last version that was kind of just like a thicker material this is very light very thin and it goes all around they've got this pretty sweet topo map design nice little touch really does a good job of protecting your toes like from bashing into rocks and stuff so the weight of this shoe is 10.7 ounces and that's pretty hefty, but it is almost a full ounce lighter than the previous model. One of the ways they did that was reducing the stack height. Front to back is now 33 millimeters and it used to be 36. It's got these um, clips right here, this Velcro in the back, and these two points right here on either side of the shoe. These are your gator traps. They really lock down to the shoe and there's nothing getting in there. So another update that I talked about just a second ago when I did the unboxing, the heel is a lot wider. I wasn't really sure what I thought of it at first. To be honest with you, running on it, it's still really different. I like it. It's, they feel super stable. Like I don't feel like I'm gonna roll my foot. As you can see, like on here, if you're turning, this part is gonna hit the ground just a fraction of a second earlier 
and correct onto the ground. So that's just something to get used to. The sole itself is very different material and a lot squishier. They call it bouncy. And that has also taken some time to get used to. If you're, you, they're gonna feel a little bit more like another brand of shoes that I've had before. Just a little bit bouncier, a little bit squishier. So just something to keep in mind when you get the new model. And that's kind of been a little bit of a surprise for me because one of the things about the 2.5s that I said in my previous video is that while they are maximal cushion, they also felt very stable. If you're running like, really smooth buffed out trails fast these shoes are going to feel just a lot more forgiving but if you're kind of jumping around like on really technical stuff these might just feel a little bit more bouncy and a little bit less stable they're going for that really really soft ride and they definitely succeeded in that the other big update is these drain holes in the front of the shoe there's two of them right there and what that does is when you step in a huge puddle and you got a lot of water rushing into your shoe the next couple steps the water actually kind of like squirts out of those holes and it really does a really good job of flushing out like excess water and you notice it when you're like doing a stream crossing or any type of water crossing and your whole shoe goes underwater and it comes up and you just basically have a bucket of water tied to your foot well these two spots right here really flush that water out really fast kudos to ultra on that so in conclusion what do i think i'm like 99 percent sold on these so many updates that are really good the re-engineering of the top the new mesh is amazing the drain holes are great the ride of this shoe is lower to the ground but softer so by changing the actual material of the sole they've achieved this the extra width in the heel a lot of people are really really happy about that although i never really had a problem with the old heel they still have this extra rubber material on the tongue so you can really crank down those laces all around just a really solid update i think they took a bunch of steps forward there's a few things that i've had to get used to some things that were from the last model that i really liked that are different, but this shoe, technically I think it's a lot more advanced shoe than before. How it's lighter, how it's softer, how it's closer to the ground, how they did all that, just amazing engineering. Big thumbs up from me for this shoe. And if you're into like 100 milers or 50 milers, can't go wrong with a good maximal shoe to give you just a lot of forgiving steps out there. It's growing on me a lot. I think you're gonna like it, check it out. So if you're interested, there's an Amazon link below, click on it. Really helps out this channel. Amazon throws a couple pennies my way. Anytime you buy anything off there, after clicking on these links. Help me out, click that link. Let me know what you think of this shoe too. Do you like the 2.5 better? Do you like the three better? Do you like the one? 0.5 better. Like I said, I've got 50 miles in these shoes and I can tell they've got at least a couple hundred more. Really happy with this update to the Ultra Olympus. Go check it out. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.